I've been a boss since I was 22 years old, and one of the things that I had to learn when I first began supervising the efforts of uh, other people, and it, it kind of came as a surprise to me, is that it takes way more teaching to teach somebody how to do a task uh, than you might at first uh, suppose. And as an employer, I got used to that idea that you really had to spend a lot of time with people uh, showing them how to do things that, you know, for, for my end, seemed simple. Um, but they were simple to me because they were, they were my things. And when I wrote Rock Solid Kids, uh, I wanted to introduce this concept of 10,000 conversations. That, you know, you've got your kids and you want them to understand the importance of uh, telling the truth and being responsible, and being hardworking, and uh, being committed to the family, and following the rules. And a lot of times, I think we, we send the kids out into these uh, situations where they're expected to uh, follow those guidelines, uh, but they've not had the right amount of coaching, the right amount of conversation. Uh, so this idea of 10,000 conversations, uh, I think, is really important begin to understand that it takes way more uh, instruction uh, than you think it's going to, to get your kids to perform the way that they uh, need to perform, and then set about to have those conversations. And you might not feel like you're a teacher, but guess what? If you're a parent, uh, you have to be. You have to get used to this, to this role if you're going to raise healthy, happy, confident kids. And I'm going to toss in something else. I'm not talking about the kind of conversations where you are uh, chewing somebody out for having uh, broken one of those uh, standards that we're talking about. I'm talking about conversations that are constructed in such a way that your kids uh, look forward to them and enjoy the process. And I think if you make this a regular part of your family routine, you're going to be really happy with the results.